All right, man. Brad Holmes kind of broke his silence on um, not trading for a big name. Also, uh, homie Alex sent me something about Chase Young, which I already pretty much knew. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. I appreciate everybody for tapping in. I do the prediction video Thursday or the preview video. Oh, matter of fact, it ain't no prediction video this week. It is a bye week. So we on the bye. We on the bye. We on the bye. So, yep. So it won't be no prediction video this week. But, hey, guess what, man? We locked and loaded, dog. We got some good videos coming up the next couple of days. Y'all know the Detroit Pistons going to hold it down. So um, they 2-2. Two and two. Um, They did lose while we was watching the Raiders game. I was kind of watching both. The Raiders game was just so bad, dude. I just woke up and finished watching. I went to bed. I wasn't even, like, really tired either. I, I hadn't felt like I had that much energy in a long time, bro. But you know how it go, right? But nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, man, so, you know, basically, you know, Brad Holmes, as we already highlighted, he went out there and traded for uh, – he went out there and traded for uh, – um, for Donovan Peoples Jones, a local guy, I've never. I mean, he he's been he's been all hype. He did have a good year in Cleveland last year. He almost he was closest to a thousand yards, six two athletic. We remember him for from Michigan. Um, you know, we remember him from Michigan and all that type stuff. So he did go out there and make that move. I think it was a dead move. Um, just let you know today, don't really have any faith in Jameson Williams. So, you know, at the end of the day, I understand it. I feel it, you know. Um, and I got a video coming up, if it don't come up first, about Jameson Williams, in which um, in which I uh, highlighted uh, my homie Greg, who he a, uh, he a sub and that we cool, whatever. He pointed something out about uh, – that he observed before the game about uh, – about uh, – about Jameson Williams and you know hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and it's just my premise but kind of like putting two and two together but uh but let's talk about what our homie Brad Holmes had to say Brad Holmes on big time name trade ideas for lines it's not reality you know and people say well how is not reality you know what I'm saying people say how is it not reality when you know uh Kansas City turned around I mean, 49ers turned around and got Chase Young for a third-round pick, and I'm, I'm kind of going to explain that too. You know what I'm saying? That's how people are going to say, like, dude, you could have made that pick, that move. You know, people turn around and say, well, how is it not reality? How is it not reality when Chicago got Montez Sweat for a second-round pick? Was it the fact that teams didn't want to trade with you guys because you're the Detroit Lions or guys didn't want to come here or you didn't believe that, you know, if you got these guys that you could sign them, you didn't go out there to Brian Burns or you believe that, guess what, we ahead of the curve. We don't really have a chance at the Super Bowl yet. We playing with house money because we ahead of the curve. Um, so we're not going to go out there and, 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 and try. You know, we got a bunch of money next year. We can get somebody to come in free agency, pay Jared Goff, and et cetera. You know, so I wonder, did did did, did he feel did he feel that? Is that is that kind of what he felt? And I think that's what it was. You know, real quick, you already ahead of the scale. You know, in my opinion, you already ahead of the curve. You know, you ahead of schedule. So, you know, guess what? We playing with house money. Let's play with house money. We got a bunch of money next year. Why compromise draft picks? We probably really don't have a shot at, 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 at winning the Super Bowl this year, right? You know, why mess up the draft picks? Why mess up the process? We're going to get some guys healthy back, and if we do make a run at the Super Bowl this year, you know, so be it. But next year we're in a great position to do some great things. And some of the guys that y'all y'all don't want to be patient and wait to get, we could end up getting those guys, right? He said a lot of these names that you might see pop up, they look good in the media, but they're and they're our names. But often it's not reality. Home said those names that you see pop that you see pop up when you're getting into the conversation, it just doesn't work for 
uh, for the best, uh, uh, doesn't work out for the best, for the best of, for us. So a lot of people be like, what do that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of people like, what do that mean? It doesn't work out for the best of us. How can Chase Young be good for us? How can Montez be good for us? Because I think they got a, uh, I think they got a system. I think they got a plan. And I think what they want to do is build this thing the right way and build it through the draft. And I think they're going to believe in a system. Okay. They're going to believe in a system in which they're going to draft guys. They're going to believe that they knew, uh, they're going to believe that their, their, their new culture is going to attract free agents to Detroit. I think that's what they truly think. But it's cheaper and it's best, it's cheaper and it's the best way is to build through the draft. You know, and I, I feel I got like, you know, I felt a little emotional like everybody else. They should have went for it and this, that, and the third, but like I said before, he valuing his draft assets and his money he got built up later, you know, versus now. He said, well, I mean, obviously we, Marvin Jones Jr., had to step away, so we were down to receiver pier, so we looked at adding another one. Regardless, home, home explain, there's a lot of avenues that you can take, so this was the one that we chose. They chose the cheapest route. Simple as that. They didn't want to give up no draft capital. They chose the, the cheapest route. It's as simple as that. They chose the cheapest route. Hometown kid, get them a little bit of buzz. Um, you know, that's what it was. You know, you know, that's exactly what it was. Yep, that's exactly what it was. They want to keep them dry. And then when you got 60 million under the cap and probably you can expand on that. Uh, you know, why why go pay for why go trade for guys you probably can get on you can probably get next year? You know, why? You know, but you know, Chicago did it because guess what? It gives them the best opportunity. Right, it gives them the best opportunity to retain, you know, uh, Montez's, you know, uh, services. You know, it gives an opportunity to retain his services. So I get it. You know, I get it. So. I get it. I get it. So, um, but uh, yeah, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at it at all. You know, you know the video I did yesterday. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I was in my fan mode, but I, I but I, I kept it real. Kept it real, but um, ended off. Alex sent me something, um. Um, about Chase Young, it's something that I didn't, I didn't, it's something that we already knew, um, like I said before, and maybe this is one of the reasons why the Lions didn't take a chance on uh, Chase Young, he said Mike Silver, he said Young, according to several uh, co uh, commander coaches and organizational sources, was viewed as an undisciplined player who developed ha bad habits such as deviating from assignments and efforts to make a splash plays. Um, Duff for cover, you know. So at the end of the day, so basically, he was selfish, you know. And you got to remember too, the beef started between him and Washington. Remember, he's from Maryland, by the way. The beef started between him and Washington, um, and the Commanders when you know he went to that pass rush camp or he went to a camp and he started like doing drills and he re-injured himself and they didn't clear him for football activity. That's kind of when the, the beef started between them so you got you got a guy who didn't listen to the medical staff did what he wanted to do and then he don't have no discipline on the on the field you know he doing what he want to do on the field he not keeping you know gap containment you know what i'm saying 
and he doing what he want to do on the field, then there you have it. There you have it. So guess what? You know, and I said this, and when this Jameson, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this video up first. But in the Jameson video, Jameson Williams video I did, I spoke on that. In the Jameson Williams video I did, I spoke on how the Lions deviated away from their 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 structure that was a Detroit Lions, Dan Campbell type of guy. They got away from that. They got away from that when they drafted Jameson Williams. And I watched that Jameson Williams video I got coming up today. I don't know when I'm going to release it, but it'll be today. And they deviated away from that. And I think it bit in their ass. They got attracted to the speed. They got attracted to the talent. And they actually was moving up for Gary Wilson. I didn't know that till B. Taylor told me. You know, that's who they actually was moving up for. You know, so, you know, it is what it is. So apparently, you know, Chase Young came with some baggage. Not surprised. You know, he came with some baggage. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video uh, financially. Want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, um, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.